Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to look up a value with multiple criteria in Excel using the index match and VLOOKUP functions. In our example, we have the type of product, type of customer, and country of issue as our variables, and we want to determine how many accounts there are for a given combination of these three variables. For example, we want to be able to automatically retrieve the number of credit cards among new customers within the UK, which should give us 7,772. To do this, we can use one of two methods. Either we can use the index match function with the concatenate function, or we can use the VLOOKUP function together with the concatenate function. The reason we use the concatenate function is because we want to combine the three criteria into one individual column, which is a format that both the VLOOKUP and the index match functions can understand more easily. Let's get started by using the concatenate function to join together the three variables. We can type equals concat and simply select the three variables. Alternatively, if you don't have the concat function, you can use concatenate instead. Then we can simply double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down. While this doesn't look very appealing, this step is important because as mentioned, it makes it easier to use VLOOKUP and index match later on. A point to remember as well, is that it's good practice to input the concatenated values to the left of your outputs. In this case, our column is to the left of the number of accounts, which is our desired output. This is because the VLOOKUP function always requires that your lookup values are to the left of the output cells. Now that our data has been set up, we can start by using the index match function. Based on the values in cells H5 to J5, we want to retrieve the corresponding number of accounts. We type equals index, open brackets. We first select the output array, which refers to the cells containing the number of accounts. We then open the match function. Firstly, it's asking us for the lookup value. For the lookup value, we need to concatenate the values in cells H5 to J5 so that they match the format in column E that we created earlier. So we type concat and then we select these three cells. Next, it's asking us for the lookup array. In other words, the range of values where we're looking up this concatenated value. This refers to column E. Finally, it's asking us for the type of match, and here we can type zero. After clicking enter, Excel has retrieved 7,772. Let's check whether this is correct. The first criterion is credit card. We're looking for new customers, and the country is the UK. So this is found over here, which does indeed correspond to credit card customers that are new and are based in the UK. If we change the type of customer to existing and the country to the US, it returns 2,598, which does indeed correspond to credit card customers who are existing in the US. Therefore, that's the first way to look up a value with multiple criteria. The second way is to use the VLOOKUP function. We type equals VLOOKUP, first enter the lookup value, which like in the first method, is the concatenation of the three input cells. Next, it's asking us for the lookup array. Here we want to select the range containing the concatenated values and the output cells, therefore columns E and F. Next, we type 2, as the number of accounts output 
is found in the second column within the table array that we selected. And finally, we type false for an exact match. As you can see, this returns exactly the same value as the index match method. If we change the input cells, then both methods change, giving the same values. Therefore, both methods give the same result, and the method you use is simply a matter of preference. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.